Brima over on YouTube is asking around some uh, also issues on uh, BitLocker, not BitLock management in this case in Config Manager, but BitLock compliance showing that they're not compliant because BitLock is not enabled. When I try to enable manually, I get an error that GPO conflicts. So is this managed in tune? Sorry, is BitLocker managed from Intune Config Manager or Group Policies? Because GPO usually don't say that they have a conflict. The Intune is happy to say so, but Group Policies normally do not. Well, while we're waiting for a reply to that follow-up question from us, um, we have showcased a few times here on um, the Academy some great resources for BitLocker management for setting it up in Intune. And uh, one of the best guides there is is from Brooks Pepin. Um, he put together some stuff uh, around... Before they changed the UI, I should add, so... Uh, you have to take the, the, the screenshots here with a grain of salt because they have changed since this post was created. But this one takes you through uh, the initial configuration and also what you need to do uh, for a complete silent and automatic enabling of BitLocker. So uh, highly recommend to go through this post if you haven't done so already. Just again, the screenshots have changed here a little bit, but the information around it is the same. Just that the images that are different. So I would start there. Um, it's a good post. Yep. And uh, there was a follow up here that these are into managed devices. So yeah. Yeah. And also, of course, make sure you don't have multiple configuration profiles trying to apply the same uh, type of settings. Um, when we started to do a lot of BitLocker setups, I uh, often refer to and used, um, oh, not that one, I'll close that little friend. Um, to do them from here, because here were most of the settings that you would configure always enabled. But then I moved on to use settings catalog and other settings since then. I found that easier uh, because there are some settings you don't have here also that is useful for BitLocker. 